Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Now, here we are with our city, which I'm not going to name this episode. Uh, your suggestions have started to come in on the comments now, and I like some of them. I'm just going to give you guys a little bit more of an opportunity to get some of more, uh, of, of, more of your uh, ideas in there. Uh, but things are going quite nicely now for the city. We've got our lovely little commercial area down here, residential sprawling across here. We've got our interesting temporary junction and our industrial area sitting far out here. Apart from a few traffic areas around the industrial section, traffic areas, traffic issues around the industrial section, we're doing okay. What I have been doing since last time is we've got an, uh, two power plants now, and we've also got um, two incineration plants here, but then we've also got two incineration plants over here as well. So, incineration plants, I'm kind of thinking are good. They're a little bit expensive on the upkeep. If you look at the upkeep cost of a coal power station, it's like a third uh, of the cost. Yeah, or it's a, a little bit more than a third. But it, we're killing two birds with one stone here. We're getting rid of a lot of rubbish. Uh, this area here has started to... Uh, return to the green again which is nice what we're gonna have to do is move our power facilities somewhere maybe over here we've got some abandoned buildings because of power cuts mainly I'm just waiting for the money to sneak up just enough to put another one of these in and we're going to put it over oh my goodness things are on fire um, we're gonna put it here next to the other one for now I think or do we want it somewhere closer? We're going to put it over here. We're going to put it over here in the industrial area. It's only 6,000 to move it. There we go. That will help. Right, there's a lot of fire going on down here. But there's also a lot of fire trucks. What's our fire coverage like? Oh. Right, so it took them a little while to get over here. We're going to do a lot of fixing and shaping and sorting today. Uh, we've got a bit of roads network down here, which is starting off. What I want to do is start mimicking what we've got on the other side of there so that we can start looking at maybe having a brand new area for more residential uh let's see here that is too long there we go so not all of the city is going to be grid-like. We're going to start getting things a little bit different, a little bit interesting. Why is that a different length? We're going to have a few different funny bits and bobs in there. Yeah, why is that a different length? Let's get that strip in there. Down here. And we're going to have a stripper commercial as well, so let's do that. And I think we'll have high density commercial as well. This is another high density sector. This is basically the high density sector of our city, right here. Um, we'll have some nice sprawling roads and pretty areas um, and in other places. And we may as well zone this. Zoning doesn't really cost... Having those these roads here with nobody around, that does cost. So let's do now. I was going to say let's do that, and I was going to plonk it on there, but then I remembered that I want commercial at the end. I want people to not have to go too far for a little bit of commercial, because that is where you then generate more traffic. We don't want people to have to go all over the place and straight away we're getting a few commercial things popping in there this area here probably has a terrible terrible land value where's land value uh what's that one levels land value um yeah it's not great it's it's not good in fact i'm pretty sure this area here would have negative land value if it could uh <laughs> but never mind We'll need some facilities in round there. Oh, that reminds me. While we're talking about facilities, fire department. We're going to have to put a fire department in. And we'll put them just across the road over here. 
Uh, let's leave it a little bit of a gap. There. We're going to put them in because that will serve around here. And it will somewhat serve over there as well. If it has to. Um, but that's good. That's good. There. There we go. So we have now have... Uh, water and power through there or we will have power through there I think the gathering down here because this is where the power is I'm not 100% sure but we do have demand people are still coming in money is still going up and we can't really move these dirty spouts any further we have the train station unlocked which I really want to do this episode we are going to do it this episode let's have a look so what I want to do is have this line for residential and is there a train line elsewhere? There is a train line over here so I think if we expand yeah if we expand across there with the road link it up here we could have a massive train station and stuff over here but let's con let's concentrate on the industrial side of things. So for a train station we've got uh, this is bus depots Metro will do later. Train. We can have a cargo terminal. It does no no actual pollution, but has noise pollution. And build a cargo terminal. Uh, cargo train terminal to allow... Oh, hang on a minute. We're a big city. I was reading. Okay, so we can have a crematorium and water treatment plants. Which means we don't have to dump it all in the, uh, in the, war, in the rivers. Fantastic. 17,000. Brilliant. Let's carry on with what I was saying. Uh, basically we carry goods and raw materials trains can operate in and out of the city build stations and connect them with tracks before using the train line tool to make a line right so this looks like where the train station will be it looks like the it attaches to a road it does so what we'll do is we'll have this this six lane road here doesn't doesn't need to be six lane. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Okay, trains in a minute. We need to fix this. Time for some high speed junction building, I think. So we have two junctions that are very similar, crossing in the middle. This is an interesting experiment. I'm really interested to see how the um, the traffic flow changes around here. One thing I have kind of forgotten to do is do any sort of zoning around here. So all... Let's start here. All of this industrial. A lot of it. Right. Um, so we've messed around with industrial, we've expanded that, we've done some half-decent junctions. I kind of like them. They're a bit weird and a bit different. But now, now, finally, we can get on with trains. So I left this little uh, outcrop here uh, on purpose, but I don't know whether that's the best place for it. And also, because we might be bringing 
a lot more goods in and out. This road that I downgraded previously, I've changed my mind about it a little bit. We're going to uh, upgrade that because it's going to be coming out towards the railway station. So let's not upgrade anymore. Let's come out. Um, I don't know how far I can come out, but I am going to come out. And then we'll come along here. Kind of wish these power lines weren't here. In fact, these power lines don't need to be here now, I don't think. There we go. Let's just double check the power situation. Yeah, that's fine. So then the road can come up against the side of that. Have I done that right? I have done that right. Okay. So then we're going to get this road all the way along here. And we're just going to put the train terminal on there. See how it goes. If it's not right, we'll figure out a new way of doing it. Cargo terminal, it's going to cost 60 grand. Um, and I'm going to put it relatively in the middle. Kind of just there. Oh, they're all happy about that. Uh, not enough money. Well, I know we're not, we're not got enough money right now. So this looks like it's um, kind of... Oh, we're right up against the water edge there. We, got, we want land tools. What's that? That's uh, shift. That one's level. Oh. Is it? Level terrain. Um... What's that one? Soften terrain. There we go. Oh, we're getting a refund? Oh, the refund's going down now. I just wanted to soften that bit around there. It looked a bit strange. There we go. We'll do more landscaping and tree planting and all that sort of stuff at a later date. But for now, I'm just quite happy with that. So th we're going to treat this as a terminus. I don't know if that's how it's meant to be, but that's what it's going to do. Uh, we've got one-way track here. I'm not quite sure how that works. So this, I can't just connect it straight up. So presumably, I'm going to have to come to, like, here and then do a T-junction. So... I can just come off this and go like that. Hmm. Yeah, that kind of works. I'm not sure I like it though, like that. Yeah, you see, look, doesn't like the bendy, curvy, trainy stuff coming off like that. Um, the other option, I suppose, is that we can then do something like this. What does it think that is? That is not what I want. But that is, so we'll keep that bit. Um, so what if I do something no it doesn't like that we're going to have to come off to the side it needs to be more pointy I think more straight let's tie it with straight bits yeah that, that works that works with the straight bits. We're just going to take those bits out now. Uh oh, I accidentally disconnected the power. Hurry up, pause the game. Okay, it's fine. So, um, yeah, we're going to do just a straight. Why is that not just wanted to go in straight? There we go. It has to have a slight curve to it. This, I don't have a lot of choice. I like that. That works. Okay, let's get the power back on. There we go. Even though this area is generating its own power. Um, 
we want all the power zones to be connected so this power line here won't be needed in the future because well actually I don't think it, it's not needed now we have tiny connections wow our city's growing oh that's cool city's growing I like it we're getting 294 people a week we've got a small demand for industrial okay let's roll so we've put some train stuff in and it looks like it's automatically put over some sort of crossover and is treating this like a terminus so that's good the only problem is it says not enough water uh, oh look at that it's right on the edge okay let's steal a little bit of water there you go my friend you should have enough water now operating at a reduced rate it won't do soon it won't operate at a reduced rate soon now this road down here I'm not a hundred percent hundred percent sure about the way it is I'm thinking maybe I should have connected up differently I certainly want to take the end off it's slightly too long but the fact that this is a big six lane uh, sorry not six lane this is a uh, what a four lane road two one way to the other then it should be fine We've got vehicles coming past this area now. Oh! Oh, some of them are going in! Oh, that's fantastic! We've got vehicles going into our cargo terminal. Um, traffic is backing up on the entrance of this area. So having two entrances isn't really helping massively. It's... Uh, so these junctions really busy they are maybe we need to start making this like one way or have a, some sort of one way network within this uh, I'm still I'm just going to keep an eye out for a train because it would be fantastic to see one I mean I can't see one but it would be fantastic to see one uh, we're going to have to get a metro coming over here as well metro will probably do next episode Ooh, that one was a lot easier to do than the previous ones. Okay, so this junction is is working. It's done. This one is also working and done, but I did it in a slightly different way. I just swapped a bridge for a tunnel and a tunnel for a bridge. Um, although, I've managed to get this in that area, which doesn't match that. I'm just going to modify that slightly. We're going to just make that go a little bit close, a little bit further to about there. Then bring it up to there. Okay, now it matches, but also is slightly different. Okay, so I'm wondering if that will make a difference now that those two junctions are two full junctions. And I kind of like the naturalness of them. They're not 100% neat. I don't think it'll make a lot of difference. I think we'll still have problems with uh, vehicles going in. Um, but I'm thinking if we can... If we can filter some of this traffic away in the right direction. So I'm thinking make this two-lane go... Why can't it up not grade? Why why can't I have one directional roads? Don't know, never mind. Okay, so we now have crematoriums as well as a cemetery. Uh we'll we'll see how the traffic goes on this side. I still haven't spotted a train. Oh, there's a train over there. And there's another train. Have we had any trains come here yet? Statistics. Oh, the route—the route is coming in. In fact, I think a train's coming in. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Oh yes, look, and the cargo—the cargo's coming through that way as well. Where's the train? Is it? Is, oh, there's a train in there already, and it's leaving. Oh, that's brilliant. Are we going to have another one coming in? Yeah! Oh, wow! We've got trains! Uh, why is it everything I do ends up in trains? 
there. Well, it's fantastic anyway. So we've got trains coming through here. This is still a busy. We've got stuff going on where people are starting to get all connected up. Oh, I forgot about the power situation. There we go. That's much better. Uh, that's good. Overall, we need more power. Let's come over here. We've kind of neglected this area a little bit. We've got people that don't like living <laughs> next to this horrible place. I'm not surprised. What I would love to do is have something off the main road. Kind of like an industrial power station zone. Have it between the two main districts that we have now. And that would be brilliant. But I'm thinking something like this is going to cost a lot of money. And I don't... I, I can't remember how to rotate it. Uh, is it R? Rotate! Rotate you! Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Okay, so, uh, yeah, something, something like this. And then I would just have a loop around here where everything was fantastic. But I... I feel like most of our power generation is going to get moved over to the industrial district. And, the, yeah, that'll be fine then. It'll be alright. Looks like a lot of the things over here... Let's just check, what's this? What we got now? We've got a police headquarters. We might have one of them in the future. A lot of these vehicles are road vehicles. They're probably people commuting. Hmm. Well, what we'll do is we'll sort that out next time. So we've got our first railway station in, it's a cargo one. We've expanded out the uh, industrial area, we've added two brand new junctions. You know what, it's, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than what it was. We've barely got any queuing on the main road now. We've got a little bit of queuing, but not much. So I'm hoping with a bit of, a bit of better networking, um, that will be even better. And we definitely need a transit system in here. We do have a water problem, water shortage though. But uh, we will have a look at that next time along with the metro y things. But like that, there we go, that's it, all sorted, good, brilliant. I've been Master Hellish. If you want to see any more of the videos I do, remember to subscribe, get the notification bell going. If you want to know more about me, masterhellish.net, and I will see you soon. Thoughts, ideas, and questions down in the comment section. And ta for now.